The screenwriter Russell T Davis has another hit TV drama on his CV, this time about HIV. The man who reawakened the Doctor Who franchise in 2005 is no stranger to sensitive issues, think queer as folk. His latest success, It's a Sin, has had bumper viewing figures for Channel 4. It's about the spread of AIDS during the 1980s. It was written before the current spread of coronavirus, but as Russell T Davis points out, there are uncanny parallels want to be happy it is a timely lesson in recent history i'm going to be an actor stupid little dreamer how fear and ignorance can kill the story of a virus with parallels that run to the present day why do i need all these it's to protect me not you oh idiot we shot this before the coronavirus turned up and it is strange to watch my own show now with PPE and, and distancing and not only that, but the paranoia and the fear and the fake news, false facts. It all happened back in the 80s. It's a Sin follows the lives of three young men under the lengthening shadow of AIDS. They say it affects homosexuals, patients and hemophiliacs. Like, there's a disease which has targeted the letter AIDS. Who's it going to get next? People from Hartlepool. From denial to lonely deaths in hospital wards. A public health crisis made into compelling drama by a writer confronting his own past. So I've delved into my life and shoved it all on screen. It was considered to be shameful, but it was seen to be a gay disease. So the silence creates the fear, creates the problem. It, it's self-perpetuating. The disease got worse because of silence. The past is another country, so different it can be a shock to go back. Yeah, yeah, I was beaten up by some Swansea bus conductors. You could beat up a gay man with such, such ease in those days that they still wore their bus conductors' badges. So I knew their numbers, but you didn't go and report them because it was a gay bashing. And that went on it has taken Davis day, decades to find a way to write about this lost generation. Such funny stories, such vivid people. That's been, that's been just a wonderful process of... It's like their voices are coming back to life. Tragic tales and trademark wit. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Another pint for the bender, please. Perfect for our troubled times. One day we might look back on COVID and remember it was our shared humanity that pulled us through. John Ray, News at 10.